so I had some explaining to do. So yesterday when I was driving the car, I uh, was testing one to just was like, you know what, I'm gonna flog this sucker, see how it does. I was on low boost anyway. So anyway, <laughs> the reason why there's no diff on the uh, in the car and it's sitting on the counter back there is because I um, hit one, two, and right when I did, I heard some boom and I thought for sure either I lost the diff, I lost an axle, or I lost the um, drive shaft. And uh, so I looked under the car, drive shaft was still there, so that's a good sign. No puddles, so that's a good sign. You know, like figured if I shattered the diff, well, we'd have a bad day. So what I figured out, uh, so I took everything out of the car, I took the diff out, which is easiest to take that out, and then you can slide the axles out. And um, yeah, so the wheel hub in here, these are stock wheel hubs. You can see this one's uh, fine or fared much better. Um, but on the other side, um, I think what I did is, um, maybe I, 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 don't, I don't even know, because it all happened really fast. So maybe I wheel hopped a little bit and then it just took out the threads in the, uh, the splines and the wheel hub. But you can see in here, um, probably not the best angle, but you can see that it's kind of flattened out. And um, yeah, so, and all this material is in there. So, wheel hubs are bad. Uh, well, I shouldn't say they're bad. I just kind of, you know, whatever, 20 year old car. So anyway, uh, check the splines on the uh, axles here. They look fine. I was able to slide them on the other side. So I'm gonna get probably some uh, billet wheel uh, hubs. And I might just upgrade the axles all together since it sounds like to get the billet wheel hubs, they're splined a little differently. So I might just get the 1500 horsepower pro level axles from drive shaft shop. So, but yeah, ta-da. So I probably won't be making any sort of track days or anything this year, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Yeah. But the good thing is, is that the diff, that held up fine. You see, it's, uh, you know, I thought I lost the diff. I honestly thought the diff because the way it sounded, which was pretty damn, pretty goddamn loud. Uh, but after taking it out, it took the cover off, took the brace off, all that stuff. And uh, it all looked fine in there. So I'm thinking it's probably fine. Um, you know, it spins fine, everything, once it was out of the car. So anyway, yeah, that's, you know, short-lived. 500 miles break in, and I broke in. All right, guys, take care. Bye.